from Kersville. Rebellia worked well there. He switched the attack. Look, there's that left up again to the body. He followed up. And oh, again, and look, again. he's hurt him again, Steve. He can't take the body shots, Kersville. Well, I've got to say here that Baleo forced uh, Vasil Dragomir, who wasn't a bad fighter, to retire in two. And also beat a tough man called Marcel Zeller in four. And it's all over! It's all over! For Mike Kersville, beaten in just a single round here by Damir Baleo. Body shots have put pay to his dream of becoming a WBO European Cruiserweight Champion. He's been winded there, Steve, hasn't he, with a couple of good body shots. Let's have a look here. Switches the attack. That was the shot. That was the left hook that did the damage early on. And he never really recovered from that. It was a good attack to the head. There's the right hand there. He follows it up, goes downstairs again and catches him on the rib cage again. And he couldn't continue. Two terrific body shots there. Very surprising that uh, he didn't actually get up and carry on. But... He's the one. And he'll be very disappointed with that. So there you are then, uh, Damir Bellio from Bosnia Herzegovina, from Mostar to be exact, is going to be declared the WBO European Cruiserweight Champion with a first round blitz of Mike Kurzweil. And I put on my notes, has he got a chin? Question mark, question mark. And really, I should have said, you know, has he got. A strong body. Because the, the headshots weren't, you know, nothing to write home about, but the body shots were. Well, we've just seen Damir Bellio from Bosnia Herzegovina from Mostar Blitz Mike Kersfield from Saxon. In a round, body shots put him over, the follow-up body shots put him over again, and uh, well, he didn't uh, show the referee he was in a great position to continue, so the referee stopped it. So there you are, there's your confirmation of the winner. And uh, I'm absolutely delighted for him. He, uh, he came out and did the business in good style, no doubt about that. And uh, terrible shame for his uh, opponent, but there you go, that's life for Kersfield. More to come. Stay with us. Yeah, we're going to come back with uh, a female contest between Raja Amashe and, and uh, Terraporn Panimit. Stay with us. Originally, this was uh, scheduled for the WBC Eurasia Pacific Boxing Council Cruiserweight title, whatever that may be. <laughs> Come on, guys, do yourselves a favour. Disappear in a puddle of smoke. It was all a favour. So this is the vacant WBO European Cruiserweight title, which is just about the same kind of stamp. So here he comes, then. This is the favourite. Tamir Bello. Had a good amateur career as well, though, Steve, didn't he? Had two wins. Did an amateur. Did, yes. Absolutely. 83 wins by knockout. So there's something about this guy. And uh, won the World Boxing Federation Intercontinental Cruiserweight title. Made two defenses of that particular crown. <laughs> Now, my question um, earlier was about Mike uh, Kersfield. You know, is he a puncher with no chin? He lost his first four. Uh, two of them are on home soil, and he was chinned in two of them. And, uh, but now he's undefeated in three years. So, you know, was it just a... Svećujem Ičku Knezoviću i Vladiću Uljku koji su veliki moji prijatelji i bili uzmeni u ovom svemu. 
Takođe veliko hvala Ivanu Dijakoviću, našem prijatelju Zimačke iz Dizeldorfa, koji je u mom ramcu, koji nam je pomogao da dođemo do ovog pojasa. Takođe svojim trenerima Zubcu, Damiru Zubcu, Damiru Miletiću, svim svojim prijateljima, svojim sponsorima, jer bez njih ne bi bilo to. Cijelo mom Ostaru, Bosni i Hercegovini, Rami.